Hello students, welcome again. I am Aditya Vardhan from adhikemistry.com. In this presentation, you are going to learn a very easy shortcut method to derive Maxwell's relations. It is for CSR net, gate, set, IIT jam and other university level exams. I am going to use a modified thermodynamic square method to derive Maxwell's relations. Let us start with the, the construction of modified thermodynamic square. It is based on the following mnemonic. Good professors have studied under very fine teachers. Here, the first letter of each word represents either a thermodynamic function or a variable. For example, G represents Gibbs function, P represents pressure, H represents enthalpy, S for entropy, U for internal energy, V for volume, F for Helmholtz free energy, T for temperature. I am going to arrange these terms along a square in the clockwise direction starting at 12 o'clock position. First of all, G is placed at the 12 o'clock position of the square. Then moving to the right side P is written on the top right corner H on the middle of right side then S on the bottom right corner U at the middle of bottom side then V, then F and finally T. This makes our thermodynamic square. Once again, read the mnemonic. Good professors have studied under very fine teachers. So the terms are arranged in the clockwise manner. Here in this square, the variables are placed at the corner like T, P, S and V, whereas the other terms G, H, U and F are the thermodynamic functions. By using this square, it is possible to derive Maxwell's equations very easily. We will learn how to do this. Now watch carefully how are we going to derive Maxwell's first relation. First of all draw an arrow on the left hand side of the square from top to bottom that is from T to V and write the partial derivative accordingly that is dou t by dou v. Now we have to find the variable that is maintained constant here. To find this draw another arrow from the first variable that is t to another variable that is diagonally opposite. Here s is diagonally opposite to the first variable hence write s here that means the derivative now becomes dou t by dou v at constant s now draw another line exactly parallel to the first one but on the right hand side of the square from p to s now write the partial derivative accordingly that is dou p by dou s 
and uh, you know these diagonally are opposite to the first variable that is p hence here we are maintaining v constant for this derivative so dou p by dou s at constant v now the question is where to put the negative sign to know this we have to follow a simple trick that is whenever both s and p come together write negative sign on that side for example in the above equation the right side has both s and p terms together hence we can put negative sign on the right side this is maxwell's first relation to make our understanding very clear now i am jumping to fourth relation skipping second and third to derive this fourth relation we had to draw an arrow on the left hand side of the square but now from bottom to the top that is from v to t and write the partial derivative accordingly that is dou v by dou t here v is in the numerator because it is at the starting point of the arrow now <coughs> since p is diagonally opposite to v we have to write p here now we can read this partial derivative as dou v by dou t at constant p now draw another arrow from bottom to the top that is from s to p in the same direction as that of the first arrow now write the partial derivative dou s by dou p and since t is diagonally opposite to the first variable that is s we have to write here t now the partial derivative can be read as dou s by dou p at constant t now the question is where to put the negative sign we know the trick already whenever both s and p come together write the negative sign on that side again on the right side of the equation we find both s and p hence we can write negative sign on the right side of the equation this is maxwell's fourth relation now the third relation previously we have seen already the arrows are written on the left hand side as well as right hand side from top to bottom as well as bottom to the top now it is also possible to write the arrow from left to right or right to the left that is on the top as well as bottom of the square so to get the third relation we had to draw the arrow from left to right from that is from t to p and the partial derivative is dou t by dou p since s is diagonally opposite write s then another arrow exactly parallel to the first one in the same direction from left to right from that is from v to s so write dou v by dou s and we know that p is diagonally opposite to v so we write p that is dou v by dou s at constant p now the question is where to put the negative sign 
again our trick whenever both s and p come together write negative sign on that side watch carefully both the left side term as well as the right side both terms are having p and s together hence we have to write negative signs on both sides of the equation but negative negative are going to be cancelled out so we write do t by do p at constant s that is equal to do v by do s at constant p this is maxwell's third relation finally the maxwell's second relation you can guess what is going to happen to derive this relation we have to draw an arrow at the top side of uh, the square from right side to the left side that is from p to t and write the partial derivative accordingly that is dou p by dou t since v is diagonally opposite to p we have to write v here then draw another arrow on the opposite side parallel to the first one in the same direction that is from s to v now write the partial derivative do s by do v since t is diagonally opposite to the first variable that is s we have to write t now we can read the maxwell second relation as do p by do t at constant v that is equal to do s by do v at constant t here i am not writing any negative sign on any side of the equation it is because we know that s and p terms are not coming together so no need of negative signs this is maxwell's second relation okay that's all this is the end of the presentation thanks for watching visit following pages to find more information on this topic along with previous year questions from csr net gate and set exams don't forget to subscribe to this channel